I received a meal kit from, it was a cooking experience that I did online, a virtual cooking experience with one of my favorite chefs, Fabio Viviani. I received this, it is called Dining Reimagined and it has all the ingredients that I need to make some meatballs and So this is Fabio Viviani. We're gonna be making meatballs, grandma, his grandma's famous meatballs and marinara. So in the package, I received breadcrumbs, all of the ingredients, I'm pretty sure they're all um, pre-measured out, which is nice. Ricotta, garlic, salt, Parmesan, an egg if we need it, Sh sugar, pepper, crushed tomatoes, basil, shallots. Uh, this is ground beef. I'm gonna assume it's 80-20 because that's what he likes to use. And then parsley. So that is what is in there. Smells delicious already. Okay, the first thing that he does, I watched the cooking, the uh, demonstration, I guess you should say, we should call it. And so I'm just gonna follow along with what he did. So first thing he did is he adds the meat to his stand mixer. It like kind of made this not the best. So, olive oil, my crushed garlic, or my minced garlic. It says half a cup of oil, and I put a little bit more. And then that is that until my next step. Okay, so here's our meatball mix. I maybe should have done the onions a little smaller or the shallots a little smaller. It's fine, whatever. I'm going to form these in balls, sear them while this is, the tomato sauce is cooking and then um, finish cooking the meatballs in the tomato sauce. So he suggests taking olive oil on your hand to form the meatballs. Okay, so he did 
did not really show how to make spaghetti and it also came with spaghetti I forgot to show you he said that hang on let me get a good angle up here he said to take about a handful of salt with your water And then for it to boil. And that's how you make good pasta water. So that'll be working. The sauce is working. The meatballs are searing. And then we'll go to our next step when we're ready. So I let's do this. I am cooking the rest of the meatballs. These are the ones that made it into the sauce. And then I'm gonna take basil and put it in the sauce. I've now moved my boiling water to here. I took out the meatballs, put them in here. Those are going to finish cooking. And then we'll see what the end product looks like. Okay. Here's my finished product. So I'm going to take some noodles and drop them a few meatballs and then i'm gonna try and find some sauce i think the meat to sauce ratio really didn't work in my favor but it's fine honestly the first time i made this it was really good and i was very successful I don't know if I just needed to watch his demonstration again, but then here's what it looks like. I'm going to take up some parsley. I'm just going to rip mine off. Rip it a little bit. Sprinkle. And then take some of the remaining Parmesan. Don't touch that place. It's hot. Some of the Parmesan put it on top so there we go don't mind the kitchen it's a mess and that is that I honestly had better hopes for this video if um, anybody's watching you should watch Fabio Viviani's demonstration um, mine is not even that great it's I, subpar at best it is um, I don't know. I just am not a very good cook. I love watching cooking shows. I know a lot about cooking. I don't know if it's like my stove, my pans. Couldn't be ingredients because they sent me the ingredients. So maybe it's just me. Um, I will link his demonstration below, but this was my failed attempt. And thank you for watching. And I hope you get to try this recipe. Um, it is very delicious and it is very easy. Like I said, I just messed it up. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you very much for the Morongo Casino and v Fabio Viviani for sending me or picking me to win one of the meal kits. I loved it. I had a great time. The food and the ingredients were delicious. So thank you.